here in uh, Solcombe today and uh, just about to launch. Absolutely gorgeous conditions and I don't mind what I catch, I really don't care. I've got the mullet gear with me uh, and I've got the little feathers so I might be able to feather up some uh, sand eels but on a day like this it's just great to be out on the water. So uh, yeah, fingers crossed, let's see what happens. I'm going to have a go for some mullet and uh, I'm moored up to, um, to a sort of floating pontoon and I'm just going to put some bread into an onion suck. Hopefully you can see that, it's a nice little slick. That's kind of the thing that will happen out from the uh, onion sack, except it will release it slowly and it won't release too much. You don't want to overfeed the fish, otherwise they just won't, won't be interested in your hook bait. They'll just go for the stuff you're chucking in. So I'll put it inside another onion sack just so that it releases it a bit more slowly. bungee it off the front of the kayak. So this is the rod that I'm using and it's a new Coniflex blank and uh, it's pretty unique. Designed it for kayak fishing. Uh, it's just over eight feet long uh, but it's quite special because it's really difficult to get hold of a shorter rod for float fishing. And I know the purists will say, well, you need a really, really long, you know, 12 or 13 foot rod to pick the line up and all the rest of it. But it is a bit cumbersome in the kayak. So uh, we've tried to come up with something that's a bit shorter, um, but still has a delicate tip. So and it's an go absolutely gorgeous rod. Um, we're going to try and put it through its paces today. And uh, just to show you how to bait up, uh, I've got six pound fluorocarbon on the trace end. And a size eight uh, super specimen hook. And all we do is just pinch a bit of sliced bread. The cheapest sliced bread you can get is fine. Put it over the hook and pinch it and it really is that simple. Don't, don't mess around with it too much because it'll just end up looking a mess. And it's that simple. There we go. And I've got a sliding float. It's a special uh, topper float but it uh, just means I can fish a bit deeper uh, with, a, with a fixed float. It means you can only fish as deep as the, um, as the length of the rod. Three pounds maybe? I don't know. Something like that I should imagine. So that's cool. Excellent. I'm really pleased. I've worked hard for that mullet. So 
time to get him back.